Hi, Joshua. Uh, you're only 10 years old, hey? I, um, <clears throat> I used to know my little boy until he was eight, and I really enjoyed him, and then um, he got taken away from me. And, um, and uh, he's a good boy now, and he's older, and I remember he was pretty smart when he was eight, and uh, so you'd be even smarter, and you'd be even uh, better, you know? Um, your angel name is uh, Friendly, and uh, I've never heard, I've done about 300 or 400 messages from angels and heard about 400 message, names of angels, and I think your angel's name is the favourite one I've ever heard. And, um, you know, uh, he's got a message for you, but, you know, all that God wants you to do with your life is just be friendly to people. And your angel friendly is gonna help you just be really friendly. So sometimes angels have the name of what they do. And, uh, and your angel uh, has the name of what he's gonna help you do. So friendly says, I really um, am happy about how happy you are. And uh, I, like to, I like to do things to make you happy. I like to show you good TV shows. I like to take your dad or someone who likes to take you to movies. I like to surprise you, you like surprises. And uh, sometimes you get surprises of people you love Sometimes you see a show that's a surprise. Sometimes you hear a song that surprises you. And uh, I like to surprise you, you know. One of the best things you can do for people is uh, give them a surprise. Something, you know, and, and I'll help you as you grow. But, you know, if someone really likes chocolate biscuits and they're around at your place one day and your mother or someone got out some chocolate biscuits and they kept on eating lots and lots of them, you know, when you get your pocket money one time, I'll talk to you and say, go and get that friend a packet of chocolate biscuits. The ones, <coughs> ask your mum what sort of biscuits they were. Get your mum to get a chocolate biscuits <coughs> <coughs> for your friend. And you won't have to think about it. You just uh, get a thought. I think I'll get my friend some chocolate biscuits, like he says. I'll ask mum, can she get the chocolate biscuits? And, um, you know, you won't always be able to hear me speaking, but I'll always be speaking to you. And I always have been speaking to you. You, um, <clears throat> you come up with good ideas. And um, you uh, think about, good happy things and uh, you you uh, do pretty happy and good things for people and when you think about good happy things sometimes it's me speaking to you and telling you about the good happy things and sometimes when you do good happy things for people and you're a good boy and you do nice things for your mum and your parents and <clears throat> other people the thought that makes you do those good, happy things and those nice things, that's me speaking to you. That's me saying, hey, do this for your mum. And hey, do this. And uh, you don't hear me say, hey, do this for your mum. You just think, I think I'm going to go and see mum in bed and tell her good morning. And uh, I think I'm going to go and hug daddy, tell him I love him. And you, you seem to make everybody happy. And, and all the secret ways that you make people happy, that's how I talk to you. I, I give you the ideas. And you're good ideas, man. And you're going to grow up and be a, an older man. And you're always going to have good ideas. And some of your ideas, some of your ideas are going to be things that the world needs. And when you make that good idea that 
that uh, app for a phone or that business idea, uh, God's going to make you a lot of money with your good ideas. But better than making money is that your good ideas are going to be good for people. And when you create that good idea, a lot of people are going to be happy. And uh, your, your, uh, your job for your life, the, the thing that I'm in your life to be, is your job is to do everything you can to make people happy. And a lot of people are sad. A lot of people have hard lives. And as you grow up and you get older, you're going to realise that some people have happy lives. Some people have really sad lives. And for the people with happy lives, you're going to talk to them about the happy lives. And uh, for the people that you meet who have sad lives, you're going to tell them some things and things that you've seen and things that you think about. And I'm going to give you some things to talk to those sad people that will make them happy. And you'll just miss the happy. And you'll just miss the friendly. And so I'm going to use you to be a, a friendly person to everyone, to the, to the happy people, to the sad people, to the bad people, to the good people. Everywhere you go, you're going to be friendly and you're going to make people happy. And, you know, one day your dad will hear this. Maybe your dad will listen to this. Or one day someone pretty special will hear this message. And they'll start calling you Mr. Happy. How are you, Mr. Happy? And, uh, and I'll tell them to call you Mr. Happy. And, and I hope that you remember that that's my name for you. Not Joshua. Not Joshua. Joshua's a good name. Joshua, Joshua did some big things in the Bible. Joshua was very powerful. Right? And you're going to be very powerful. But, you know, it says in the Bible that when you get to heaven, Jesus is going to call you a new name. And uh, I'm telling you a secret. Before you get to heaven, you have got a new name. I'm going to tell you the name that Jesus will call you when you go to heaven. He's going to say, how are you, Mr. Happy? And, uh, but you, you're going to know that's your name all your life. And um, you ask your mother or father, or whoever that watches this, you ask your mother or father, do you think it's possible that I could know that special name now? Do you think Jesus can do that? And uh, they'll smile and they'll say, I think Jesus can do anything he wants. So goodbye, Mr. Happy. And uh, whenever you need a message and you need to talk to me, just say, hey, friendly, it's Mr. Happy. Can you talk to me? And uh, if you're very good and you have trust in Jesus, I'll start to speak to you. Have a good day. Bye.